So you can you can see when we called for exit, we we said we hope to get that target at 86 and a half, and said you better take something there because there's a good possibility, you know, with this rhythm that we could bounce again and you know potential to test this 91 to 92 again, and it doesn't have to stop there and go to any high it wants right now because we've got that that V bounce, you know, we've got sharp up, long way home trade comes back comes back to the original support. And in this pattern, you know, I'd be high breaks by a point, reverses. <clears throat> Charlie gets smoked all the way up, it takes him out, and then he probably lets it go right here at the breakout. Turtles get caught. We come back, we break down here, this line right in here. And that's a retest too there. So that's why we're saying, okay, let's use that as our resistance for now can go to any high on this bounce but likely that first you got to get by 92 and then this 93.75 94 retest so anybody you know when when we said okay lunch is coming to an end this is a great contra you better take profits and we thought that the the reversal from the rain line would would push this way so this is a good solid trade anybody took this one and Charlie was in denial on the way up. <clears throat> Probably lets it go once it comes out the top. But realistically, if you look at this, the IB high was broken by a point. The IB low was broken by a point. And then we come back into this uh, 92, which we said we thought could get retested. Close enough for government work. And the end of the day is up to the gods. So if you have profits, you want to maintain them. You you know don't throw away. The afternoon is always harder. So <clears throat> minor low, minor high, and range trade this area for now. We've not broken down. The longs are still in control <clears throat> from this 86 and a half, which we talked about earlier. That was their. This was a key measure. So kind of important where we close and whatever you made today, you should now be locking up profits and only playing with capital that you're willing to risk because there's a likelihood you're going to risk the same amount of money with less travel range. So risk reward changes for, for us dramatically. We got a good run. Depending on how you played this, if you took stop outs and went, went along with it, understood where targets were if you came back hoping to get a contra and then all of a sudden we get a smoke and bar that comes right down and we said possibility 87 86 got it bang take your profits if you reverse you're in this swing again the rain line was absolutely perfect and now charlie was in denial now he's saying all right fine you guys want to go short <laughs> okay let's do it yeah, you broke broke the ID low. Let's go. Let's go. And then Charlie gets caught again, coming back this way, back towards the middle. And you and I are going to admit it, we're wrong way Charlie often. The question is, do we stay wrong way Charlie, or do we take our stop out and say, all right, let's find another trade? So I'm not making fun of Charlie. I'm freely admitting I'm Charlie <clears throat> probably as often as anybody. But I, then I want to go to a chart where I can think clearly like this. <clears throat> no support built up in this move. So that creates the potential to come down and do a deep pullback. But you've got to get by here first. <clears throat> and then once those traders are squeezed, this becomes a retest towards that middle. So not an easy day today, <clears throat> but turns out that we got a lot of it correct with our swings where we thought major turning points might be for high odds timing. You know, this, this is a deep, deep contra. And when I see deep contra, <clears throat> it still negates the premise in my mind that this is super bullish. But also I can't get super bearish because the low is still in place. Till that low goes, <clears throat> this is not a reversal day. You know, you gotta you gotta close back down here, you know, take out take out. Leave these traders stranded who bought highs. 
you, you know, you want to stop it here and come back and get back under that blue line and come back down and do your retest. <clears throat> so currently 96 and a quarter is the demon resistance zone. And <clears throat> we've got the new angel that's formed right in here. 88 and a quarter, and that guy is, is our support area now. So realistically, we can see that in a, on average, you know, traders were, were averaging in up here and came down and averaging in in here on the buy, and this is going to be our middle area. So good day there. Anybody that's, that's bought this contra to this swing should be taking profits by 92, and anything above that is just just gravy. And if you're an aggressive short and you want to take the short in this range, fine, but don't let it run against you. Just let them take your fingernail. Don't give give up your whole arm. <clears throat> 